Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat mga kapatid. Ihanda natin ang ating mga sarili para sa ating pagninilay ngayong gabi. Hindi po ako ang magninilay, ang Espiritu Santo ang tutulong sa atin, gagabay para tayo ay mabigyan ng mga aral na para maintindihan natin, maunawaan ang tinig, mensahe ng Diyos, ang ating mabuting pastol para sa ating lahat. We invite you now to dispose yourself to prayer. Let us begin our Easter recollection. In silence, we pray and ask the Holy Spirit to be with us tonight. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you wish, you may want to close your eyes and join me silently in praying to the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. We invite you now. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to be with us tonight. Teach me, Holy Spirit, the right words to say. Open the hearts of those who listen, Holy Spirit, that we may understand, that we may be open with docility and humility to your leadings, to your inspiration. Tonight, Holy Spirit, we invite you, take over, Come to us, Holy Spirit. Come upon us, Holy Spirit. Fill us, each and every one of us, those who are tired, those who feel sick, those who are not well emotionally, those who are not well physically, those who are not well spiritually. Come, Holy Spirit, console us. Come, Holy Spirit, heal us. Come, Holy Spirit, comfort us. Come, Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Let us begin our recollection with a song to be led by Marlon, our pianist. This is a beautiful song. Everything comes from His love, from His peace. Joy comes from the Lord. And if you know the song, eventually join, join in singing. Joy I give 
It's a joy that the world cannot give. It's a joy that the world cannot understand. Joy to know. Joy to live. My joy I give unto you. Can you please join us? Peace, love, and joy. We ask the Holy Spirit to grant us peace, love, and joy. It's a joy that the joy I give unto you. Can we sing together my peace and let's ask the Lord to grant peace in our hearts tonight. Together we sing. We ask for peace now. My peace I give unto you it's a peace that the world cannot give it's a peace that the world cannot understand peace to Unto you. We ask for love. Ask Jesus for the gift of love, charity in your heart, in your homes. My love I give unto you. It's a love that the world cannot give. It's a love that the world cannot understand. Love to know, love to live. My love I give unto you. And finally, we ask for joy. The joy that the world cannot give, the joy that can only come from the Lord. My joy I give unto you. It's a joy that the world cannot give. It's a joy. Gospel according to John chapter 15 verse 9 and following as the father has loved me so have I love you abide in my love if you keep my commandments you will abide in my love just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love verse 11 these things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy 
may be full. Verse 12, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. My joy, my love, my peace be in you, and that your joy may be full. Unang punto, unang pagninilay natin ngayong gabi, joy, happiness does not come from any one of us, not from anything in this world. Authentic happiness, authentic joy can only come from the Lord. We can, as Pope Francis would say, we can produce momentary occasions for pleasure, but we can never engender authentic joy. Let me repeat that for you. Here in this world, we can produce momentary occasions for pleasure, but we can never engender authentic joy or happiness. Ang kaya lang po natin ay gumawa ng mga okasyon na mapaglilibangan ng ating puso, ng ating isipan para malibang. Pero hindi talaga tunay na kagalakan dahil ito'y laging panandalian. These are all momentary occasions. That's why we call them state. We call them moment. It passes. Tonight, we celebrate the joy in our hearts, in our homes. But make no mistake about it, the first meaning of joy or the first producer of joy is not us. We can never produce it by our own power. We can never summon it according to our own capacity. Real joy can only come from the Lord. It is a joy that the world cannot give. It's a joy that only God can give. Amen? Amen. Kaya pwede ka hong nagagalak kahit nahihirapan. It is possible that we are suffering and are in pain, but we can still be full of joy. Because joy is not produced by human elements or human capacity. Joy can only be produced by a God who loves us. Joy and love go together. In the verses that I have read, love and joy are deeply connected because love produces joy. Ang tunay na pag-ibig, yun ang magbibigay sa atin ng kagalakan. And love is God, and God is love. And therefore, only love, only God can produce joy in our lives. Minsan po, nakwento ko ito dati, and I'd like to repeat this story. Uh, mama po siya ng isang uh, volunteer po natin dito, si Marie. And I visited her, si Mami Choleng in Cardinal Santos Hospital. Uh, she was in the ICU. Nasa ICU siya. Hindi nakapasok yung ibang kasama namin. Ako po at si Marie lang yung nakapasok. Uh, at pinuntahan ko po to anoint Mami Choleng. She's in pain. She's really in pain. Nasa ICU siya. Pero nung ako po yung dumating at uh, hinarap, po, hinarap ko siya at hinarap din siya sa akin, nakatagilid siya kasi hindi siya pwedeng nakahiga kasi nahihirapan siyang huminga so she needs to be yung nakatagilid so nakaharap siya sa akin she's in pain, grimacing in pain but when she saw me and I introduced myself mommy, ako po si Father Jason she lighted up, her face, her face lighted up and she was very grateful. She was just telling me, thank you, po. thank you, thank you, thank you. And I anointed her. I was anointing her. And all she could say was, thank you, thank you, Father. Nakangiti. Nakangiti. Na, nakakita na po ba kayo ng ganong in pain pero nakangiti? 
Kasi meron siyang nakita na siguro dahilan para makangiti siya o magkaroon siya ng kaunting uh, pag-asa sa kanyang sarili o sa kanyang kinalalagyan o kanyang pinagdadaanan. That, that is joy. Joy is not something you produce. Joy is something that is given to you. It is something that is granted to you. Marami po sa atin talaga, ito naman ang inahanap. Sino bang ayaw ng magkaroon ng happiness or joy in our family? Tanungin nga natin ng mga sarili natin. Ayaw mo bang maging masaya? Ba't ba lagi ka nalang malungkot? No? Ba't lagi nalang natin hinahanap ay problema? Marami po sa atin ay kakambal na lang natin ay problema. Parang hindi na tayo tinantanan. Uh, I think I also said, uh, told this story before. Meron po akong parishioner in my uh, previous parish. This pandemic, nawalan siya ng ilang member ng family, one after another. Yung isang ratsyada ng pamilya nila, apat, sunod-sunod. No, this pandemic, apat. And all in all, in this whole pandemic time, during the lockdown, ang kanyang pamilyang nawala, nalagas, so to speak, siyam. Siyam na, mga, na membro ng pamilya, sunod-sunod, one after another. At ang sabi niya sa akin, this really... Struck me so much. Ang sabi niya, Father, pwede pala yun na darating ang punto na wala nang mapaglagyan ang lungkot mo. Usually, walang mapaglagyan ng kagalakan natin. Pero sabi niya, ang lungkot ko, Father, wala nang mapaglagyan. Pag dumadating ka pala sa punto ng wala nang mapaglagyan ang lungkot mo, ngingiti ka na lang na parang si Raulo at sasabihin mo sa sarili mo na ba't pa ako nagsusurvive? Ang dami-dami ko nang dinaanan pero ba't pa ako nakatayo? Ang dami-dami ko nang gerang sinuong eh ba't pa ako nandito? Napapailing na lang siya. Sabi niya, wala na mapaglagyan ng lungkot ko pero hindi ko alam kung maintindihan ba't nakatayo pa ako? Tinatanong niya ako, Father, sa nasaan nang gagaling ito? Ang sabi ko, well, you're going through a severe trial or hardship in your family, kaya maybe at this time you're not processing anything anymore. You're not able to process because it's just too overwhelming for you. Masyado ng marami, kaya hindi mo na alam paano iprocess yan. Pero if there's one thing that makes him strong in, in tragedy after tragedy in his family, yun ay talagang hindi niya alam kung saan nang gagaling. Ba't ba ako nakangiti pa? Ba't ba ako nakakatayo pa? Ba't ba ako bumabangon pa? Eh, sunod-sunod na yung pinagdaanan ng aming pamilya. And I was telling him also, well, another explanation could be, it is not you anymore. It is the grace of God that is now working in you. Because your human mind, your human heart, is not just able to process everything. And so it is the Spirit of God that sustains you in your life right now. And the, the reason why you're able to smile through this ordeal is because it's not a joy that comes from you. It's a joy that comes from grace. It's a joy that comes from love. Maraming beses po sa buhay nating mga tao, nakikita po natin po ito na at parang hindi ako sumusuko. Na parang energized ka pa rin. I'll give you a case in point. Today po, at this very moment, ito po ang naramdaman ko. Nagsimula po ang aking araw kaninang 7 a.m. Nagkaroon po tayo ng Misa, 7 o'clock. And then we had, at after the Mass, we had po our SMG word. And we talk about Paul. That's for around 30, 40 minutes. After po ng aking uh, SMG word and Bible encounter, I went to uh, Makati, to Holy Cross. And ako po ay nagkumpil. I was given by Cardinal Joe uh, um, a delegation to, to do confirmation. So I was invited. So nagkumpil po ako ng mga bata 
Uh, that's 9 o'clock and around uh, up to 11. And then 11 po, takbo naman ako doon sa Arzobispado, sa Intramuros, for a meeting, for a planning session. So I was there for 11 and then up to 2 o'clock. And then from 2 o'clock, I went right away to another meeting. Dito naman po sa Payus for a meeting with some lay leaders. That's from 2 o'clock to almost 5 o'clock, 4.45. 4.45, hilamos ng konti. I prepared myself for the Mass at 5 o'clock. And then right there and then, we have this. Easter recollection. To be honest with you, hindi pa ho ako nakakaihi. <laughs> ang pantog ko, ang bato ko ay siguradong sira-sira na. But I'm asking myself, Jason, why do you do this to yourself? Why do you punish yourself? And why do you still have the energy to do this? And mind you, to tell you honestly, dear brothers and sisters, I don't know also. I don't really know where this energy is coming from. All I know is there is just some fire within me that tells me, just go on. You know, just continue. You, you will never be tired because this energy is not mine. This energy is coming from Him and from Him alone. So, po ba mag CR mo na? The spirit, when He moves, you cannot say no. And mind you, it's not just today. It happens to me every, almost every day and every other day. And I said to myself, hanggang kailan kaya ako dadalhin nitong energy na to? Kung ako lang po ito, kung energy ko lang ito, matagal na ho akong nag-retire. Pero sabi ho ng aking mga kaibigan, I don't know naman po kung totoo o binobola lang ako, sabi nila sa akin, Father, you know, blooming na blooming ka. Sabi ko, blooming na blooming ka dyan. Dami-dami kong natrabaho dito. <laughs> Pero sabi nila, Father, nag-iba yung mukha mo. Masayang-masaya ka dyan sa Maria Goretti. Ha? Eh, sabi ko sa kanila, well, <laughs> it's the joy that can only come from serving the Lord. It's a joy that can only come from loving the Lord. I am 24 years as a priest. Tomorrow is Good Shepherd Sunday and World Day of Prayer for Vocations. Yung pagpanalang uh, din po para sa mga bukasyon sa mga nagpapari. I have to be very honest with you. Pagod na po kami mga pare. Ako, kung tatanungin po ninyo ako, pagod na po yung katawan ko, pero hindi kailangan magsumuko. Kailangan magpatuloy. Kasi po, dito sa Maynila, halimbawa po, ilang katoliko po dito sa Maynila? 3 million. Ang Catholic population sa Archdiocese of Manila, almost 3 million. Tanungin po ninyo ako kung ilang pare ang naglilingkod po sa inyo sa Maynila. Ni tanungin niyo nga ako. <laughs> Joke lang po. Joke lang. Mainit ulo eh. Na? 3 million po yung Catholic population sa Maynila. Ang mga pari po ng Maynila na naglilingkod sa inyo on the daily basis ay 245. Kung ilalagay po ninyo sa ratio yung 245 or 250, sarado na natin sa 250, ilagay niyo po yung 250 sa 3 million. Ilan ho ang kailangan naming pastulan? Ilan ang kailangan naming paglingkuran? If we are to, to, to divide no, per parish equally, all things taken and, and given. Ang average na uh, size po sa mga parokya natin ay 35,000 to 55,000. Si Father Caloy po, meron akong kasamang pari sa Radio Veritas, si Father Caloy Reyes. Siya po yung rector ng, nagkukwentuhan kami kagabi, Tol, kumusta ba sa parokya mo? Tinikwento niya sa akin. Sabi ko, ako, sa parish ko, sa Maria Goretti, tatlong barangay lang ako, Tol, eh. tatlong barangay. <laughs> Dito po, yung parish territory natin, tatlong barangay, no? Uh, mostly maliliit na mga, ano, si Father Caloy, ang kanyang parokya, ang kanyang average, ang kanyang population, Catholic population, 500,000. At limang pari sila, sabi ko, dami-dami nyo na dyan. Pero, alam po ninyo kami ni Father Caloy, we resonate kasi pareho po kaming very active sa, sa ministry. At least, we are trying to be, trying, trying to do. Pero tinatanong namin ng mga sarili namin kagabi kasi nga, praying for vocation eh. Sabi, Tol, kailangan nating maghanap pa talaga ng mga vocation. May napapagod ka ba? Hindi ka ba napapagod? Sabi ko, ba't ako mapapagod? You're doing things for the Lord and ang saya-saya kaya mag-serve kay Lord. Friends, mga kapatid, alam po ninyo, hindi ako nagmamayabang o nagmamagaling. Hindi ko sinasabing mas banal ako, mabuti akong tao. Pero isa lang po may pagyayabang ko kung meron man. 
I found the Lord and there's nothing, nothing in my life that can ever take away that love and joy that the Lord can provide and give to you. Amen. When that love of God permeates your heart, that joy that comes from Him, you'll be Uberman. You'll be more than Superman. You will be more than any superhero. Because the energy, again, do not get me wrong, brothers and sisters, hindi po ko nagmamayabang o nagmamalaki. Ang sinasabi ko lang ay, ang nagpapalakas sa isang pari, kung totoo man ng kanyang paglilingkod, ay galing sa Diyos, hindi sa kung ano pa man. Kaya kung alimbawang ano, ang lagi ko pong inspiration ay yung pelikulang 300. Napapang tatatandaan ba ninyo yung pelikulang 300? ang mamacho na mga <laughs> pero kinaya nila kinaya nila yung libo-libong mga pasensya na po kayo napakahilig ko sa violence so talaga no? pag nanonood ng pelikon so kinaya nila 300 lang sila pero kinaya nila ang libo-libong mga kalaban nila be very very careful with people who are in love with God because they will make, they will not take no for an answer. Like Paul, I discussed Paul earlier today. And like Paul, he was able to conquer the Mediterranean. He was able to conquer Europe. He was able to conquer Asia Minor, all by his lonesome. Imagine po ninyo yung, yung mga apostles, the original 12, you know, they stayed in Judea. Lumabas lang si Peter after some time. Pero sino yung talagang nagpahayag ng mabuting balita all over the world in their whole Roman Empire? Paul! Hindi siya napapagod na si shipwreck siya, napupunta siya, napipreso siya, <laughs> tinotorture siya, lahat dinaanan niya. Na nagutom siya, na... Lahat din ana niya, pero hindi siya napapagod. Kaya ako po, nung pinag-aaralan ko si Paul, anong meron sa mamang to? Parang si Raulo, na parang sinasapian ng kung ano, na hindi siya napapagod sa pagpunta sa mga kung saan saang mga bayan. Only the, only the Spirit can answer that. Only, only if you are energized by the Holy Spirit, by the love of God, only when you are urged by the Holy Spirit, Caritas Christi Urgetnos, sabi ni St. Paul, the love of God impels us. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ang magtutulak sa atin para gampanan. Brothers and sisters, mga kapatid, mga magulang, you can be in your family that energizer bunny that never gets tired. When, where do you get your energy? Not from your family. Kasi pag kukunin mo yung mga energy mo sa family mo, mauubos kayo eh. Mauubusan kayo. Darating ang panahon na pare-pareho kayong pagod, irritable, pare-pareho kayong mainit ang ulo. Away yan. Sa umaga pa lang, away na kayo niyan eh. <laughs> Di ba? Minsan, pag, pag gising mo sa umaga, medyo masama ang gising mo. Pagpunta mo doon sa hapag, kita mo, tuyo. Ang oh, okay. Diba? Ano bang klaseng ulam to? Umagang umaga. Ba't man tayo kakakain nito? So, sisisihin mo yung asawa mo. Yung asawa mo naman. Eh, bakit di kasi kayo bumili ng ulam sa tatay niyo? Hindi na mainit ang ulo. Di mainit na. Pinagalitan na si Bunso. Si Bunso naman, nagalit kay Kuting. Ikaw kasi. Huli na. Sa buong araw na tayo, na pare-pare tayong masama ang gising, at wala na. We, kasi nga, tayo-tayo ito eh. The energy in the family should not come from each other. Do not feed on each other's energy. Because time will come when you will be dried up. Husbands and wives, do not take your energy from each other. Yes, feed on each other. Because that's really intimacy. But no, you cannot draw energy from one another. Because time will come when your love tank, so to speak, your gas tank will be empty. And when it happens that both of you are empty, what happens? That's where the negativity sets in. That's where uh, problems come. When both of you are empty and lifeless and listless, frustrated, ang anxious, angry, alone, you can only gather yourself from the energy of the Holy Spirit. You can only energize yourself from the love and joy that comes from your faith, that comes from the Lord. So question, how do you get that, Father? How do you get that joy? Is it something that you find here? Is it something that you get 
every time you ask for it, how do you find that joy? Let us go back to John chapter 15. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. Commandments. Do not look at commandments as if they are impositions on you or that, that they take away your freedom. If you really want to live a happy life, abide in the Lord. Kaya ho tayo nagkakaproblema. Kaya ho tayo nahihirapan. Kasi nagsimula na natin, nating tahaking yung landas na palayo sa itinakda sa atin ng Panginoon. The moment we decide to distance ourselves from the Lord, that's when the well runs dry. I am the vine, you are the branches, says the Lord. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you want energy, continue again and again to take your strength from the well of the river of the living water. Si Saint Teresa, meron siyang sinabi na Saint Teresa of Avila, ang sabi niya, tayo mga tao, bakit tayo napapagod? Bakit tayo tinatamaan ng lungkot o tinatamaan tayo minsan ng frustration and negativity in our life? Sabi ni Saint Teresa of Avila, Ang, ang grasya ng Diyos, lagi yan binibigay. It's always available. The grace of God is always available. It's the living water that is given for our sustenance. Kaya lang minsan, our human heart, a human heart is like a receptacle. It's like a vessel. Our human heart sometimes, it does not benefit from the living water. Because first, our human heart is full of other things. You cannot find joy in God if your heart is full of other pleasurable things. Kapag ka ang kinakapitan mo ay kasino at hindi ang Diyos, eh talaga hindi mo mahanap ang joy. Sa kasino ba mahanap mo ang joy? Hindi. Mahanap mo ang pleasure sa kasino. At meron po akong kaibigan na gano'n ang buhay niya. Hinanap niya ang kanyang libangan, ang kanyang kagalakan sa kasino. Awa ng Diyos, wala na lahat ng ari-arian niya. Hindi ko maintindihan. Why do you, you do that to yourself? Nagsimula siya na nagsugal, tumama, nanalo ng konti, balik ulit, hanggang na adik, balik. So napatalo na lahat. Napatalo na yung, yung kanya kotse. At hindi lang siya tumigil doon. Pati kotse ng kapatid niya, binenta niya rin. Na hindi alam ng kapatid niya. Tumigil ba siya? Hindi. So tinatanong siya ng kwapimail niya, ano bang meron dyan sa kasino na yan? Ba't ka ba balik ng balik dyan? Alam niyo po ang sabi niya? Incorrigible na kasi. Minsan pag ganun talaga ang ano, no? Pagka, ang sabi niya, hindi, mananalo din ako. Ganun ang gambler eh. Yung gambler, yung addicted to gambling, ang lagi niyang iniisip ay, this would be my day. Pero pag nanalo naman, nananalo naman din siya minsan, anong ginagawa niya? Ah, hindi siya titigil. Oh, nanalo ko sa, sa, sa 100,000. Itaya pa natin kasi that becomes what? A, a cycle that, that sucks you in and eventually it dries you up. At yun na nangyari sa kanya. Ubus lahat. Kawawa ang mga bata. Pang tuition ng bata, wala na. Ang titulo ng bahay nila, na ibenta na, na isang lana. Lahat, ubus. Alam ko po ito kasi nagigilty nga ako eh kasi minsan nabigyan niya rin ako ng napanalunan niya. 
hindi ko na alam, bakit tinanggap ko eh? Ano <laughs> niya, father, father, nanalo ko, dadalo ko. Eh, si tuwan-tuwan naman siya, father, nanalo. Oh, talaga, talaga, magkano na panalo na? Na, father, maliit lang. Magkano nga? 200. Oh, grabe pala yung kasino, no? Pagka isang gabi, 200, no? Binigyan ako ng 20,000. <laughs> Nagsisisi na ako, Lord. <laughs> Naging bahagi ako ng, <laughs> ng kasalanan, <laughs> ng reinforcement. <laughs> Gusto ko nga isuli eh. Um, pero nakakahiya naman eh. Isusuli ko pa ba eh. Binigay na nga eh. No? <laughs> pero hindi ko sinuli. Inutang niya ulit. <laughs> so binalik ko rin ho. Alam ko po ito on a personal basis kasi... Lingid po sa inyong kaalaman at talagang dapat lang lingid sa inyong kaalaman. Nakapagtrabaho ako sa kasino. Would you believe? When I went out of the seminary, when I got out of the seminary, my first job was in a casino. Alam po ninyo kung bakit? Meron akong isang kaibigan na doon nagtatrabaho, mataas ang posisyon. Itago natin sa pangalang Pagkor. No? So, <laughs> ang sabi niya, oh, Uh, naghahanap siya ng bagong labas na seminarista. Bakit? Tanungin niyo kung bakit. Kasi tingin nila, pag seminarista, honest. So ako naman, nirecommend ako, nung, uh, actually po, nagpasok sa akin, uh, isang pari na kaibigan niya talaga. Hindi ako akong kaibigan niya. Ang kaibigan niya ho, isang pari. Kasi seminarista ako nun eh. Uh, lumabas ako ng seminaryo. Ibang story yun. Kukwento ko yun next time. Pero lumabas, lumabas ako ng seminary and then, uh, naghahanap ako ng trabaho. Itong pari na to, kaibigan niya yung mataas na official doon. Itago natin sa pangalang Pagkor. No? So, uh, Sabi niya, oh sige, dahil kaibigan ko si father, hindi pula father yon, monsignor po yon. Ay, pangalan na natin siya, si monsignor. Tutut! Sabi <laughs> niya, monsignor sa akin, oh Jason, naghanap ko ba ng trabaho? Opo, monsignor, kasi ganito, lumabas ako ng seminaryo. Oh sige, tamang-tama. Kasi yung kaibigan ko si Tutut ay... Uh, Uh, kilala nyo kasi itong mga tao na to kaya ayoko sabihin eh. Ayun, so, sabi nyo sa akin, sige, tamang-tama, kasi naghahanap yung mga yon ng ano, mapagkakatiwalaan. So, ako naman, so, uh, Mons, anong starting po dyan? Anong starting? Nasila ho. 1997 ho ito eh. 1997, 1998, some, somewhere, somewhere there. Ang starting ko noon, 30,000. Saan ka naman nakakita ng wala ka namang... <laughs> Ang qualification ko lang ay I seem to be honest. <laughs> I, look, I look like I'm honest because I'm a seminar. Sabi niya, so ganito lang ang gagawin mo. Ikaw lang ang aking ganito, ganyan. Assistant kita. Hanapin mo lahat ng mga ano dyan. Yung mga... Uh, nandoloko dyan. So, something like that. So nakita ko po yung casino life. Hindi ako nagtagal. Siguro mga two weeks lang ako. Hindi ko ako kinaya. Hindi kinaya ng konsensya ko. <laughs> Hindi kinaya ng loob ko. Kasi habang nakikita ko yung mga tao na I look at them and I feel sad. For myself and for them. Because I see people in the casino na gaganan-ganan lang sila. Ano? They're just looking at the, they're just looking at the number. Ganong ganon lang sila. <laughs> And uh, what, what are you doing? Naglulustay ka ng pera mo kasi eh, bawat pindot mo ano yun eh? Five hundred yan, five hundred one thousand. At may mga nakikita ko na tumpok tumpok na pera nila. Isang tuk, isang tuk tuk lang nilang ganyan. Wala na lahat. Tapos mamaya, tatayo na naman sila, kukuha ng drinks, iinom ng konti, tapos babalik na naman sila, mayroon tong pukulit ng, ano, ng pera, kaganong-ganon ulit sila. Sabi ko, what is that? What are you doing with your life? And I said to myself, oh, parang gustong-gusto ko laging interviewin sila eh. Ano ho napapala nyo dyan? Kung sa akin nyo nalang ibigay ang tumpok-tumpok na pera na yan, eh di may nakinabang pa dyan. Pero, hindi, um, wala ho akong ano ha I have nothing against people who are into the business of that pero 
pleasure, pleasure. Where is it coming from? And what are you drawing from it? And is it is it for long? How long will you will you uh, will you enjoy it? Hanggang kailan? Hanggang kailan hanggat hindi nasisira ang lahat sa pamilya mo dahil dyan? The world today can uh, invent mo moments of pleasure, but you know, the world cannot give you authentic joy. Meron ho akong kaibigan na alcoholic naman siya. So, sa, ang kanyang problema ho talaga, napakahilig ho talaga uminom. Nakakita na ho ba kayo ng alcoholic? It's a sickness, so, it's a disease, so, we have to help them. Pero naaawa talaga ako eh, kasi ayaw niya nang uminom, pero gusto niya pa rin uminom. Wala na eh. Wala nang... And again, why do you do that? Why do you, why do, you do these self-defeating behaviors? Eh kasi nga, wala na siyang control sa sarili niya. At, yan, you don't know anymore where to draw the line between pleasure and joy. And I pray, I pray that, you know, these people who are going through this uh, difficulties and hardships in their lives of letting go of addictions, drugs, alcoholism, gambling, and, 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 and the like. May, let us ask the Lord, please have yourself help because you are also destroying your family. Nasisira din ang pamilya mo at hindi lang ikaw. You cannot find joy there. You can only find joy in the Lord. Kaya yung commandment, love and joy, magkakadugtong din yun. Stay the course, stay the course. Huwag kang lumayo dyan, kasi pag lumayo ka dyan, mapapahamak ang pamilya mo. If you want joy in your life, stick to one. Kailan ba nagkakaroon ng kalungkutan sa pamilya? Pag hindi ka na, stick to one. Pag na-distract ka na. So, uh, uh, the right path and love and joy, they go together. Pag sinimulan mo na lang, uh, oh my, 7 o'clock na, sorry, nag-promise ako ng 7 o'clock, no? but nevertheless, my first point po, first, first point po lang po ako. Tatlong points na lang naman po ito, so don't worry. First point is, joy can only be found in God, not in anyone here or anyone of us, not in anything in this world. Second point is, but we do find joy every day. Amen? There is always something to celebrate every day. It's not, you know, the joy that God gives is not the joy of grandiosity. It's the joy of simplicity. It's the joy from little things. It's the joy from humble things. Like the joy of Mary in the Annunciation. The joy of Mary Magdalene overjoyed even if she did not see the Lord or recognize the Lord but she was overjoyed at seeing the tomb there is always joy. Zacchaeus the joy of Zacchaeus when Jesus came to visit his family the joy of Matthew of Peter of Andrew of the Apostles and the joy of Paul when he discovered the Lord on the road to Damascus the joy in simple things that we need to celebrate every day. Ang, ang kagalakan po nasa sa mga simpleng bagay. Ang kagalakan ay nasa mga maliliit na bagay. But how do you find joy in the little things? The key there is gratitude. Gratitude is connected to joy because gratitude opens the door to discover the blessing in the small things. If you live a life of gratitude na ipagpapasalamat mo ang lahat at doon nang gagaling ang kagalakan sa isang puso na marunong magpasalamat a heart that is haughty and proud a heart that is that feels entitled all the time is a heart that will never be happy because that is a heart that will never be satisfied by anything or anyone the only way for us to be happy in this world, yes, joy comes from God, but joy can also be found in the little things. God made it a point that His joy in the kingdom, in its fullness, can be found here in this world, in the little things, in the pure little things in our lives. 
And we can find joy if there is gratitude in our heart. Natatandaan ko po ito, one Christmas time, buhay po yung nanay ko nito. Ako po yung may daladala. Christmas po, ang dami kong mga misa. So daladala ko mga, dami yung mga offering. Galing po sa mga opisina, galing sa mga simbahan na pinagbisahan ko. Yung sasakyan ko punong-puno ng ano, prutas. Punong-puno ng mangga. At ng kung ano-ano, mga banana and all this. So tuwan-tuwa naman ako. So daladala ko sa nanay ko to. I went home that day. Daladala ko yung mga offering. Ma! I was excited, ma! May dala akong mga prutas. Yan. Pasalubong ako. Sabi ng nanay ko sa akin, mangga na naman. <laughs> Nag-away kami ng nanay ko. No? Nag-away kami. Kinuha ko ulit yung mga offering. Nilagay ko ulit sa kotse. Tapos, harurot ako. Malis akong bahay. Tinatawagan ako ng nanay ko. Na, alik ka na siya. Ayan, nainis talaga ako eh. Sabihan ka ba naman ng, di ba, excited na excited ka eh. Ma, may pasalubong ako. Ay, sabi, mangga na naman. Eh, kasi naman yung mga opisinang minimisahan ko, puro mangga binibigay. Hindi na lang nabigay ng iba. Siguro kung apple yun, hindi natuwa pa nanay ko na, uy, apple. De, pero, alis ko, dala ko sa kotse yung mga prutas. Doon, sa tandang sora po kasi kami nakatira eh, yung amin pong family. Doon sa may bandang Agham Road, may bandang BIR something there, ah, uh, Meron po mga families living in the island, yung sa gitna. Marami po mga pamilya, I don't know now, pero dati may mga nakatirang mga pamilya sa gitna ng island. So ang ginawa ko po, sa inis ko sa nanay ko noon, sa so, malangit na pa, huwag ka nang magagalit, uh, dinala ko po yung mga prutas, binaba ko lahat sa mga street families na nandun. Punong-puno yung kotse ko ng ano, talagang binambigay ko sa lahat, para akong si Santa Claus, no, na namimigay. May isang bata doon, wala siyang saplot. Wala siyang sa plot. Not anything. Tapos nung nakakuha niya, isang saging. Nakakuha siya ng isang saging. At hawak-hawak niya yung saging. May saging ako. May saging ako. Ikot siya ng ikot dun sa island. May saging ako. May saging ako. Wala na tayo nun. Kayo? Meron pa ba kayo nun? May ganong kababang kapasidad na pag humawak ka ng saging, may saging ako. May saging ako. Wala na. You have lost that childhood innocence of joy. Bakit? Expectations. Entitlements. Hindi na tayo marunong matuwa sa mga simpleng bagay. The Lord gave us so much every day to be happy, to be joyful about, to be grateful for. Every day, pagising mo sa umaga, tinitinan mo yung kutis mo, Ay, thank you, Lord. Ayan, sa kutis na ito. <laughs> Kahit ganito to. Um, o kaya pag ano mo, sa salamin, pag harap mo sa salamin, thank you Lord. Isang wrinkle lang. O kaya, sa umaga po, may ritual po ako. Ang ritual ko, um, every day as I wake up from my bed, it's always gratitude. It's always saying to the Lord, Lord, thank you. Another day. Thank you for this day. I whisper to the Lord na I am so grateful that I am able to rise today. Do you do that? Or we forget about that? That every day, every, sabi nga ng mga YouTuber, diba? every gising is a blessing. Pag gumising ka talaga, and I check myself, nakakakalaw ka, nakakagalaw ka pa, and, and you know, ang, minsan kasi sa atin, pag gising natin sa umaga, wala na. Problema agad ang iniisip, ang iniisip agad, ang mga gagawin. No, why don't you take the time every day to just say, thank you God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this beautiful day. Maraming kulang, maraming problema akong harapin sa araw na ito. But thank you, I'm alive. I'm here. I am here. And exactly that's the point. The point is that you are able to be here and now. In psychology, we call that savoring. You have to know the art of savoring. If you want to live a happy life, if you want to live joy, that comes from God, you have to know the skill or art of savoring. Savoring or relishing, masticating is what? It is to, to stay on a feeling or, or, or something and just stay there, to be here and now. Don't live your life in the past. Parang pagising mo sa umaga, Kahapon, nagadang nakita mo yung problema mo kahapon. O pagising mo sa umaga, ang narinimugad ay yung gagawin mo bukas. 
Be here and now. That is the point of living here and now. Savor the moment. Don't be distracted but you by what you will do tomorrow or later. Don't be distracted by what happened yesterday. The past is past. Tapos na yan. You know? At yung future, hindi pa nangyayari yan. But here and now, all that we have is the here and now. Amen? Savor the moment to moment of your life. Every second, even the nanosecond of your life. We have to learn how to be grateful for that. Kasi the here and now is all you've got. Nothing beyond it. Nothing past it. Only the here and now. Savor it. Kaya nga, di ba, may mga slow food na po ngayon, di ba? Slow food na ayaw na ayaw natin. <laughs> slow food kasi may mga restaurant po. I, are, have you heard about it? Mga slow food. Yung slow food, yung talagang paghihintayin ka nila. No? <laughs> slow food nga eh. No? So, ang gagawin nila, at hindi lang slow food, I, I, have, I have seen restaurants like this. Bawal lang cellphone sa restaurant na yun. O ako lang ang may negosyo. Kung gagawa ako ng kantin, yun yun. Bawal ang cellphone dito. Deposit your cellphone outside. Pag nawala, re-reimburse namin. Oh, <laughs> lugi agad din. <laughs> no, anyway. may, mga, may mga restaurant na wala ang cellphone. Kasi bakit? Para makapag-usap ang mga tao. To be here and now. In the family, for example, in the mealtime in the family, how do you celebrate joy in the family? Alisin yung cellphone na yan. Dinner time is dinner time. Remove the gadgets. Let's talk. Let's eat our food slowly. Let's, let's, let's masticate the food. Kaya ako, lagi po akong humahanga sa mga chef. Kasi ang mga chef, alam nila yung nuances ng flavor. Alam nila yung... Bakit parang may, na, may nalasahan ako na medyo ganito, ganyan? Paano niya nalaman yun? <laughs> ako, pag kumain ako, kuha ng pagkain, nguya, tapos. Oh, ano nang gagawin natin? Next. Hindi. Ang mga chef o yung mga foodies dito, yung mga foodies dito, ako mayroon ako isang kaibigang madre na ako po, pagka naandyan na siya, hindi na ako sumasabay kumain. Kasi siya po, pag kumain siya, isang oras. Alam po niyong kinakain niya, isang apo lang. Ang gagawin po niya, pag kumain siya, isang pirasong maliit, nunguyain niya yan, siguro mga five minutes ang pagnguya sa maliit na. May mga ganun pa sila nga, no? Ay, nako. Apple pa lang yan. Pagdating sa kape, kaliit-liit na tasa ng kape. Aabutin siya ng 30 minutes. Isang maliit na tasa ng kape. Ako po, pag binagay mo ko ng kape, 2 seconds, ubus na yan. Eh kasi, tapos. Eh, di ba ganun naman uminom ng coffee? Tapos. Siya, aamuyin niya muna. Hmm, sarap. Amaya, titikman niya na. Eh, kulang pa, kulang pa. 30 minutes. May mga kasama ba kayong ganyan sa bahay? Ay, iiwanan ka ng asawa mo niyan. Kapag ganyan ka. Pero, savoring. I love those people. I admire those people who are able to savor everything. Kaya kung ako po ang tatanungin, ito po, hindi naman po ako naghahangad ng masama sa sarili ko. Kung kukunin man ako ni Lord, tayo, kung kunin man tayo ni Lord, ako for me, ang request ko sa Kanya, if you're to get me, because my time is up, which I will not resist, because that is your plan, if it happens that you take me, please give me time. Give me time so that I can talk to people, so that I can prepare myself, so that I can write my journal. Meron po ang isang paboritong uh, professor sa, uh, sa Ateneo, si Sir Tony Lavinia. I don't know if you know him. He has been diagnosed with cancer and nowadays all he does is journal everything, all his memories, all the people that he wants. So because this is the best way. If you get diagnosed with cancer and it's quite uh, serious, that's the best way to prepare for everything. Savor every moment. How do you celebrate joy? 
savor the here and now. Never, never miss the moment. If we are distracted by many things, we are like Martha, Martha, you are so busy with so many things. Savor this moment that I am here in your house. Savor this moment like Mary, contemplate and behold my presence. The here and now is so important because this is the only thing real to you now. Not yesterday, not tomorrow. The here and now is what is real. Savor it, relish it. In psychology, they also have the concept of flow. Uh, there is a psychologist by the name of Mihai Chiksent Mihai. Just don't ask me about the <laughs> about the um, uh, spelling. Sabi ni Mihai Chiksent Mihai. The concept of flow is you will uh, live your life more satisfactorily or more with more satisfaction if you are able to enter into the flow or into the zone of life. When every moment for you is you are in the zone. May mga basketball players po na ganyan. Ako po, player din po ako. Kaya you are in the zone when you are hitting your shots left and right. Pinapanood ko po yung yung uh, yun ang, pasensya na sa mga hindi nagbabasketball ha. Pinapanood ko po si Jimmy Butler ng, ano, ng Miami Heat. Sobra. Talaga in the zone yung mama. Talaga 56 points, 49, etc. And you know, literally one, one man can make a difference in the game because he is in the zone. He's all in. That's also what I what I experience whenever I ride. Whenever I ride, I am one with the machine, and you're just in the zone. Ang sabi po nila, pag nag-ride po kayo ng motor, napapagod ka, hindi po. Hindi ka mapapagod kasi you are in the zone. And that's the most relaxing. Oh, hindi ka po ina encourage na magmotor yung mga anak nyo. Ha, no? But you have to be in the zone. Uh, ano may mga flow moments po ninyo? Sige po. Uh, I, would like go to, I will now go to the third point. Pero to finish the second point, you can find joy every day. How do you find joy every day? When you are in the zone. When you are... Uh, uh, savoring the here and now. How do you find flow in your life? Concentration, focus. Whether it is prayer, meal, study time, all in. Sports, uh, whatever it is that you're doing in the zone. Flow, here and now. Be one with the moment. If you are with your spouse, pag nag-uusap kayo, Tanggalin yung cellphone. Usap kayo. Kasi pagka nandyan yung cellphone habang nag-uusap kayo, parang sinasabi mo sa kanya na wala lang nag-text, kaya kita kausap. Pero pag may nag-text na, sorry ka, yun ang kakausapin ko. Yan ang impression na sinasabi nyo. Pag nagkumakain po kayo, tapos nandyan ng cellphone sa tabi nyo, ang sinasabi nyo talaga ay, inihintay ko lang may mag-text. At pag may nag-message na, wala ka na. Kaya lang kita kinakausap kasi wala pa ako nakakausap dito. So, to experience zone or in the zone or flow, take away the gadgets and talk. Let's talk. Hear it now. At ma-realize mo na, wow, it's so beautiful. It's so nice to be with each other. First point, joy is not from this world. Authentic joy can only from from can only come from God. But having said that, joy can also be found in this world, in the little things. If we are able to savor the little things, we are able to celebrate the little joys in our lives, then happiness can be found. And last point, I would like to end with this last point. A person of joy will always radiate that joy. You cannot hide joy. You can never hide joy. If there is joy in your heart, it shows. It shows. Hindi mo siya pwedeng itago. Ang lungkot, pwede mong itago. Kaya mong makipagplastikan, kaya mong uh, poker face, kaya yan. Pagkalungkutan at problema, kaya mong lansihin ng ibang tao sa paligid mo. But joy? No. 
Joy is just natural. It is contagious. Joy is meant to be shared. Kaya nga sabi ni Pope Francis, share the joy of the gospel. Share the joy that is in you. So question, my friends. First of all, are you happy today? Are you happy nowadays? And if you are not, why? If you are, what? where is it coming from? Pakitan nga ang katabi natin. Are you happy ba? Are you happy with me? Are you happy? Are we happy together? <laughs> Natutuwa ka pa ba dyan sa katabi mo? O oh, naiinis ka na? <laughs> ano na? Joy, if it is real, uh, it can, you cannot hide it and you cannot fake it. You cannot fake joy. But of course, you can fake it until you make it. Okay din lang naman. But really, joy is something that, that uh, ang tawag po natin doon ay countenance. Happy countenance is the disposition, outlook in life. So therefore, joy is not an emotion. Joy is not a feeling. Joy is a countenance. It's a disposition of the heart. It is the way you, 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 uh, it's the way you treat life. It's the way you approach life. It's the way you handle things in your life. Joy is not an emotion or a feeling. Yes, it is, psychologically, but really joy is more of a disposition in your life. Either you are happy or not. There's nothing in between. Or either there is joy in your heart or there is none. Because it lingers from within. It comes from within. What is essential is invisible to the eye. It's always from within that you can find joy. And we are called to share it every day. Meron po akong kaibigan. Ah, marami po akong kaibigan mga madre, by the way. Meron po akong isang favorite sister na... Uh, she's 84 years old. Sister Louie, yan, binabati ko Sister Louie, nanonood ngayong gabi yun. Sister Louie is my most, most favorite sister in the whole, the whole wide world. Sister Louie is a SP, SPC sister, and she's 84 years old. And, uh, ang tawag ko po sa kanya, Lola Madre, no? kasi she's, she's like a grandmother to me. So pag nagmamas po ako sa, sa kanilang uh, convent, kasi uh, I say mas, at least every once a week uh, in their convent, or once a month, once a month siya po ang maglulut, uh, mag, maggagawa ng aking coffee. Yan. So pag dumating na po ako at magbisa na kami, tapos mag-breakfast na kami, uh, handa niya ako ng coffee. And she does it so lovingly. Uh, mga, mga 10 minutes niya nire-ready yung coffee. Kasi alam po yung ginagawa niya. Kukuha niya ng powder, ng ganyan-ganyan. Tapos, lalagyan niya ng konting hot water. Tapos, igagrind niya muna yun. Gagrind niya ng matagal. Tapos, ang daming ritual. Ang daming ritual. Sabi ko, sister, tagal-tagal mo naman. Paalis na ako at lahat. Di patapos ang kape. <laughs> and then, she would be so happy to offer it to me. She's 84 years old, but she's always smiling. And you know what? I'm talking about nuns because psychologists, you look at this, you try to look into this. They call this the happy nun study. The happy nun study, ito po yung kanilang pinagkunan, I'm ending now, pinagkunan po nila ito ng research on happiness. Tininan po nila yung mga madre. Are you familiar with this study? The non-study of happiness. Look it up, look it up. Ang ganda ng kanilang findings. Tininan po nila yung isang congregation ng mga madre. Nung first profession nila, yung kanilang first profession, I think mga 1950s or 60s, nung nag-first profession yung mga madre. I'm not sure about the numbers, around 50, 50 or more of them. Yeah. Tapos yung mga madre na yun sa first profession nila, by the way, scientifically, in the journals, this is the, let's say, uh, the basis for the happiness studies that came after. So ang ginawa po ng mga researcher, uh, in, they analyzed the letters of the sisters when they had their first profession. 
Kasi yung mga madre na yon, they were asked to write a letter about their life, about their, you know, their present disposition, about their uh, uh, profession of, uh, in the convent, etc. So ang ginawa po ng mga researcher, humingi sila ng permission sa convent, sa mga religious, sa religious congregation. Kinuha nila yung mga letters na yun ng mga madre when they got their first profession. First step. At tininan nila ang mga madre 50 years later. Yung nag-first profession, tsaka yung nag, nung 50 years later, tininan nila yung mga madre na yon ulit. Okay, here's the ex exciting thing about it. Tininan po nila na nag analyze nila yung mga letter ng mga madre, binilugan nila, hinanap nila yung mga positive words, mga happy words, They analyzed the content at iniskoran nila yung mga madre according to happy nun, sad nun. Yan. So, kinumpare nila yung two groups. Based on the content of their letters, yung mga, nag, mga gumamit ng mga happy positive words, binilugan nila, happy nun ka. Yung mga mas maraming ginamit na sad words, dun ka sa sad nun. <laughs> 50 years later or so, tinina nila yung Uh, by the way, this is also not just a happiness study, this is also a longevity study. Longevity, kung sino yung mas tumagal ang buhay. Ito ang findings nila. Binalikan nila yung mga madre 50 years later at sino yung mas mahabang buhay? Yung mga happy nuns. Yung mga nag-survive ng mahabang buhay yung mga masayang madre. Nung in-interview nila yung mga madre, buhay pa yung mga masasayang madre. This is, uh, this is um, uh, well, this is one of the highlights of the study, pero ito yung pinagbasihan nila na observation na if you have a happy disposition in life, you will live longer. Di ba? So, happy lang. Gusto ko, happy ka. <laughs> Sabi ni Lord, no? Let's be, no, let's not just be a happy person like Hakuna Matata, no? It's not a Hakuna Matata kind of, of happiness or, or happy, happy, joy, joy, polyanic. Hindi polyanic ka nito, happiness. It's really the joy that is, that is in you and you will live longer. Celebrate the joys. Oo, nandiyan na tayo, marami tayong problema. Pero every day, if you can savor the moment, if you are able to be grateful, if you are able to relish the, the little things that you have, if you are able to show a happy countenance every day, you will live longer. Yan. A happy nun lives longer. And same thing with us. A happy person, a joyful person, will eventually live longer. Amen? And so, three things, and I'd like to end now. Brothers and sisters, joy comes from God, not from us. It's a gift. It's a grace. But if it is a grace, it can also be found in every day. Every day moment. There are occasions that the Lord shows to us that you can be grateful and be joyful. And share that joy. If you want to live longer, share your joy with others. Be a happy person. Be a joyful person. And not just you live longer, but you also make the world around you better. Sarap hong kasama ng masiglang tao. Magaan kasama ang masayahing tao. Ang sarap ng buhay sa pamilyang masaya. Amen? Happy Easter to all of you. Christ is alive. Let us all be happy. We are an Easter people. Alleluia is our song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We all stand and we sing once again this prayer. If you know the song again that we sang earlier, join us. This would be our final prayer.
that you are the source of our joy you are the cause of our joy thank you O god for this beautiful life it is imperfect there are many things that we don't have we have many problems but we thank you for the little joys that we experience every day help us to be grateful help us to savor the small blessings that we receive every day thank you god give us joy give us love give us peace and may our loving god bless you all the father the son and the holy spirit amen pwede pong maupo kasi mamimigay po ako ng easter egg yeah um recollection ang uh, announcement lang po uh, we are now trying to gather gather um uh, testimonies kasi we would like to make this part of our journey as a community how did Santa Maria Goretti Parish Online Masses help you during the pandemic? Uh, we would like to know, we would like to know, so that we can continue the best practices that we have done. So for those of you who are interested, you can email this, your live testimony to, uh, to this email, fatherjasonlaguerta at gmail.com. Wag po kayo mag-alala, ako po ang magbabasa nun. I'd like just to know how our parish online community has helped you during the pandemic and we ako po kasi researcher po ako kaya i'm trying to understand how the world has been changed by the pandemic but we would like also to know how we can help each other in spite of the crisis that we have gone through so for those who are interested testimony po ito simple lang ang tanong how did the online mass of santa maria goretti help you in your part pandemic ordeal paano po ito nakatulong pakikwento nga po at subukan po natin na alamin kung paano natin matutulungan pa ang isa't isa don't worry it will be very uh, private Nobody they will know about it except me but I'm, I will try to get into the stories 
no specifics, the stories. So you will not be compromised in your privacy. Of course, we don't have to force you. For those who are interested, po, yun po yung ating email account, fatherjasonlaguerta at gmail.com. Lahat po yun ay uh, small letters. Okay. Bring me. If you want an Easter egg. <laughs> JP, can you help me? Okay. Bring me kung sino po yung buntis. May buntis ba tayo dito? Ah, dali. Kasi parang Cebu Pacific lang tayo. Bring me. Gustong mabuntis. <laughs> ah, hindi ba? Joke lang, joke lang. Okay. Those who came here as husband and wife. Alright. Husband and wife. Can you please come? Husband and wife. Pero isang egg lang sa inyo. Hindi dalawa ha? Sorry. <laughs> Uh, husband and wife. Yes. Yo, para sister. Yan. Husband and wife. Kailangan ko ng marriage certificate, please. <laughs> Ayan. Oh, very good. Ayan. So, pray together. Ang laman po niyan ay diamond. <laughs> diamond. Ang laman niya. Uh, sige, pakialan lang mo yan. Para mas Tulong na kayo. Tulong. Uh, okay. Yes. Yan. Ha? Meron po tayong pagkain sa labas. You can uh, get food. Ang next po, bring me. Kung meron po tayo dito na lolo at lola magkasama. Oh, ayan. <laughs> Sinong may dalang apo? Yan. May dalang apo. <laughs> Come here. May dalang apo. Habang meron pa. And for those of you po, uh, we, we can take our dinner already. Meron po tayong uh, konting salo-salo. Uh, sorry, group picture lang po pala tayo. Nakalimutan ko po yung ating group picture. Ayan. Uh, let's have a picture taking po. I, I'll be here in the... Ayan. Yung may mga apo po na dala-dala. Wow, very nice. Thank Let's have a picture taking po, Lolo. Apo, sige po, sana. Sige po. God bless you.